Okay, this is the circuit I wish to share with you today. It's a way of rectifying high voltage, high frequency AC just using a single transistor. So I'll just run through the circuit diagram with you. I'm using the Slayer Exciter. Now, so what I've done is I've wound a, a four turn pickup coil above the windings, not on top of them, uh, right at the top of the coil. And that feeds into a transistor. I'm using the MPSA06. Now, I've tried it with a BC182 and that worked great as well. I've got a wire coming off the base. And this is receiving a, a signal in the air which is emitted by this tower and that's switching the transistor so i can only presume this is like a chopping action coming from this transistor and um, this is a three volt motor out of an old cd player there's a 330 microfarad cap across the motor and uh, basically it spins really really well and also what's really interesting about this circuit is it drops the voltage down but increases the current up so basically we've got about 180 volts in the air coming out of this uh, slayer exciter and it will drop the voltage down to about three four volts but the current goes right up so this motor spins really really well on this circuit so i'll just show you the setup i've got today this is the uh, large slayer coil here and uh, that blue uh, wire at the top uh, it's above the windings that's my pickup coil this uh, just four turns a bell wire. So I'll switch the uh, circuit on, the Slayer circuits on this prototyping board there. So that's the Slayer circuit on now. And uh, it's drawing 50, call it 60 milliamps. And this little note is spinning away like a good one. Now, is what I'll do is I'll just move the wall adapter up one notch. So the Slayer Excite is drawing 81 milliamps, or 80, call it 85. And that note has just gone bananas. So what I'll do now is I'll move this coil above the windings and the motor's slowed down obviously because I've taken it a bit further away from the field. But I'll up the voltage now on the wall adapter. And that motor's just gone bananas. You can see the kind of height I can lift this coil above the bottle. So I'm thinking maybe Slider could get his helicopter airborne with something like this, if he could just reduce the weight, because that motor is going mad. So that's the uh, single transistor rectifier. And while I was experimenting today, I came across this modification of the Fremenko plug. And this works a lot better than a bridge rectifier and also uh, an Avramenko plug. Basically, it's what I did was I just added a, a 5408 diode coming off this side of the coil and feeding into the AV plug here. And uh, you've got to use this, these two diodes, the 4148 with the AV plug and the 5408. And uh, if you put a cap across here, like uh, I just showed you, a 330 micro microfarad, it will run a motor really well. But uh, that outperforms a bridge rectifier just using 4148 diodes. So that's another thing to try. Okay, that's the experiment for today. Thanks for watching.